Sweetie Dines coming to you on this Friday from Fogo de Chayo. About to try this Brazilian steakhouse out. Gonna try the taffy hour out. We're gonna be walking in so you guys can see. Fogo de Chayo, guys, at the bar. Oh, okay. Okay, over here at happy hour at Fogo de Chayo. We're there getting everything ready and prepped so they can get someone tipsy and pregnant tonight. So let's see what this is all about. Okay, sitting over here at the bar for the happy hour special. They have Cheryl Burl Bites. They have $6 bar bites. We have our bartender, James. He might be a little bit shy. I might get him in the video here. They have spike, they have saucy legs. They have seasonal hummus, queso. They have a burger up here, spiced chicken sliders. Uh, Crispy Parmesan polenta fries. They have shareable plates. So we're gonna see what this menu is hitting for on this happy hour. Got my bartender James over here mixing it up. Shake it, James. Shake it. Mixing up my, my tequila drink. Shake it again. Here. I wanna say shake it. Don't break it. I took your mama nine months to make it. it Bend it, over, it. James. Show them culture. So guys, James is trying to find a drink for me, being that I'm a virgin and I don't drink. So, and I'm allergic to oranges and bananas. So, so the only citrus you are allergic to is oranges. So guys, I'm getting close up on the camera. So those of you that don't know, Fogo de Chayo is a Brazilian steakhouse where they have different cuts of meat. They have the chicken legs. They have all cuts of beef they come around they have them on the long skewers they slice the meat as much as you want um they have all types of ribs chicken uh bacon wrapped chicken and what they do is have the signs where you can put lamb and lamb <laughs> and they have the little stop sign where you can put stop or go when you're done and they also have a salad bar that James is gonna tell you what my drink is. Now, what is my drink, James? So her tequila time says she do not like bananas. I may try to add more lemon juice, more honey elixir and goblet to try to stretch it so it also can cut into bitterness with the fresh muddled lime and tequila. Right? And, do you, and do you have any channel that you would like the viewers to follow you on? Oh, I really don't have no channels, but just come to go to shout out. Come down here and give him a shout out. Drop your panties, drop the numbers and some tips, okay? Yeah. Okay guys, we got the food that arrived. We have the spicy aioli with the spicy chicken sliders. That's how it's looking. You get three. And we have the Brazilian empanadas. You get four with some type of sauce on the side. And they also bring out this Brazilian cheesy bread that I do not know how to pronounce, so I won't. But we're gonna let you know how this tastes. Just give me a minute. Okay guys, so we're gonna try this uh, Brazilian empanada gonna bite into it to see how it looks. First, let's break it. Uh-oh. Can you see the beef? Not bad. Reminds me of the regular, like Dominican, Puerto Rican empanadas with the beef. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce, but let me show you more how it looks inside. Smoking. It definitely tastes better with the aioli, but it does have a nice, nice crispy taste. Um, I would probably add a little bit more sauce into it because when I bit into it a little bit further, it's a little bit dry, but it still doesn't have a bad flavor, but the spicy aioli makes it taste a whole lot better. Okay, let me finish chewing this and then we're going to get over to the spicy chicken sliders. Okay guys, we're going to go in and try this spicy chicken um, slider. You see the chicken, nothing's on the bread. The spicy aioli sauce is on the side. You have some arugula and tomato. So let's give this a try naked and then I'll add the sauce. Mm. It actually already does have a little bit on the bread. It is a little bit spicy. They give you that kick when you bite it. But it's not bad. The arugula being that it has a peppery taste, it kicks it up a little bit more. So let me dip it in a sauce just to see. I'm doing it the dunk way. 
This is good. Um, I believe the price is six dollars for this happy hour, and you get three of them. It's not bad. The chicken is not dry. It's juicy. Excuse me for talking and chewing, but this is actually good. And I can see for those people who love pork out there, you will probably want to make it and add a couple slices of bacon. But this is on the money. Get this. Just sitting here recording, waiting for our lamb chops. Don't know if I gave you guys a good look at the bar to make sure you guys know. The drinks are on point here. So, got a sneak peek at that. Okay, your girl Sweetie Dines here. We have these lamb chops that's medium well with the mint chimichurri sauce. Um, the only thing I ever had before was lamb sliders. I'm really not too big on them, but we're gonna see how these are taste. Being that we're a food vlogger, hey, gotta give everything a shot. And they have a couple of lime wedges on the side. Okay guys, about to try this lamb chop. Let's see, like I said, not really a big fan. Gonna take a little bite. Yeah, they're really seasoned, well seasoned, but they're tough. Okay. Still not a big fan. Let me try this mint chimney curry sauce. That makes it taste a little bit better, but I'm not a fan, so not nah, but over the trial still is not a bad place and they have a lot of things on the happy hour menu a lot of drinks everything is six dollars the happy hour or it's all day they have small bites they have shallow plates so come down here to go with the child and give them a try not bad at all um some of you may like the lamb but for those of you that do you might want to make sure that they're not overcooked we did get a medium well so you know with the mint chili curry sauce it's much better but they're a little too tough for my life okay guys i'm gonna give it another try because we didn't do the lime one and i have a different one because i'm told some of them are more tender this one is a lot more tender it just came off i think the squeeze the line and more the sauce it makes it taste better actually not that bad it tastes better than the first bite so always go in for a bite or two sometimes you may need a little bit more sauce or seasoning or something like that or squirt a line it is very well seasoned but the line does make the flavor a little bit different Okay, Sweetie Dine signing off from Fogo de Chayo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, follow on YouTube. Please subscribe on YouTube. Trying to get those numbers up. TikTok, we already doing our thing. Okay, guys, on to the next video and have a good weekend.